is quite recent and it's going to take some time for the community to understand the the the, the calculation methodology as well as how it is allowed or why it is allowed by the modern fuqaha uh, and why some of the known scholars have differed in the past and why some of the known scholars of uh, of the muslim ummah uh, they still disagree with the method of calculation my brothers and sisters we have to understand that everything new is difficult to digest sometimes it takes some time for the people to understand or to digest the arguments and everything new is also resisted if you go back to the history of uh, Muslim Ummah you will see that some of the basic concepts which looked so simple and easy for us to grasp were sometimes took decades or centuries for the previous generations to accept or to implement for instance we are told in the Quran that establish the salah when the sun reaches its zenith and starts tilting towards the west until it basically sets and then recite the Quran at the dawn time because the recitation of the Quran at the dawn time, dawn time is witnessed. So the Quran has connected the timings of our five times daily prayers with the movement of the sun and the witnessing of the movement of the sun. The Prophet also connected the timings of the five daily prayers with sunrise, with zawal, with the sunset and also the twilight. So in the Quran as well as in the authentic hadith text the timings of our five times responsibilities are connected with the movement of the sun and the Prophet ﷺ himself asked people that when you see the night coming from this side which is the east side then you should break your fast so he connected our timings of salawat with the sun's movement and he also connected the fasting of the month of Ramadan or breaking at least especially the breaking of the month of Ramadan with sighting the night coming from the east now Muslims they used to have a pole in the mosque they will look at its shadow if the shadow is equal basically to its length this is the time for Zuhur and if the shadow is double of the length of the pole, this is the time for Asr, as the Prophet ﷺ said, as well as did in his own life. But later on, when the Muslims, they, they, they looked at the precise calculated timings and looked at the watches and figured out that the calculated timings can precisely tell you about the exact sunrise about the Zawal time and sunset time they abandoned the pole system they abandoned looking at the movement of the Sun and by means of calculated timings they started determining the the timings for Fajr Zohar Asr Maghrib and Isha as we do it nowadays and initially many of the scholars some of them the stalwarts of their schools the Mujtahideen of their schools they differed strongly with the use of calculated times and watches for five times daily prayer. For instance, we are told that Ibn Dakik al Aid, the stalwart of Shafi school of thought, he clearly came out and said, Al Hisab, La Yajuz al Aitamada Alay Fisala, that you cannot depend upon calculation and watches when it comes to the timings of Salah. But the later jurist, when they figured out that the calculation can precisely lead to the exact timings of sunset, sunrise and zawal, the preciseness which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala required us through the Quran and through the sunnah of Rasulullah sallam, they readily accepted the calculated time, the watches and nowadays we know that we have got the calculated schedules 
and nobody goes out to look at the sun or the moon but we just look at the watches we look at the schedule and call the azan and after the prayer and nobody worries about it likewise in the beginning especially during the time of sahaba ridwanullah ali majma'in the time of suhoor and the time of imsak were also connected with the movement of the sun and the moon or with the light for instance at the time of dawn as the quran said wa kulu washrabu hatta yatabayyana lakum al khayt al abyad min al khayt al aswad min al fajr thumma atimus siyama ila al layl that look at the timings at the morning time when you are able to differentiate between the white thread and the black thread then this is the time of the dawn when you start observing the fast thumma atimus siyama ila al layl and then you complete the fasting till the evening timing we are also told in the tafsir of this ayah that some of the sahaba ridwanullah ali majma'in they will have two threads black and white they will put it under their pillow and they will keep on looking on it when they are able to differentiate the white from the black this is the time they will start their uh, fasting of the month of ramadan and as i mentioned earlier the hadith of rasulullah sallam one time the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam is traveling along with the sahaba ridwanullah ali majma'in so the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam asked one of the sahabi anzil fajdh lana uh, get off your your ride and make some drink for us and he said to the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam ya rasulullah sallam it seems that the sun has not set yet the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam told him again Uh, get down and make some uh, something to drink for us the person repeated the same thing the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam told him third time anzil fajdh lana just get out, get down from your ride and make the drink for us when the person repeated the same thing the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said iza ra'aytumul layla ta'ti min hauna whenever you see the night coming from this side faftara saim this is the time when the fasting person should break the fast so very often muslim community used to look at the sunset in the evening and then come out and make the announcement for breaking the fast but nowadays all of us we know that we have got the calculated schedules for suhoor as well as for iftar times we observe the fasting in the morning not looking at the threads but looking at our watches and we break the fast not looking at the sunset but looking at our watches and at the calculated schedules so if something of that frequency five times daily prayers which are obligatory or imsak or uh, basically futur breaking the fast or observing the fast in the morning that can be done almost 60 times during the month once in the morning and once in the evening that kind of frequency tells you that calculations have become precise and muslim scholarship have trusted them in the past and are still trusting them in something which is obligatory and more frequent than just the moon sighting moon sighting is sunnah of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and it comes only once during the, the during the say for example month of ramadan and once at the end of the month of ramadan even though it is sunnah to look for the moon for every month but we muslims we don't look at the moon sighting for every month and we don't look at the end of the month also so just once or twice a year we make a big fuss about calculation big fuss about the issue of moon sighting and we do not worry about the five times daily prayers and their timings or the timings of the imsak or the suhoor uh, and the futur which we do calculate and we use the calculations for that so therefore fiqh council of north america looking at all the realities looking at the problems which the north american muslim community was facing concluded that calculations can be used for the establishing the month of ramadan and also for the ending the month of ramadan 
because they are in line with the Quran, they are in line with the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu and they also fulfill the purpose for which Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has uh, has given us the month of Ramadan, which is to make things easy for us and not to make not to make things difficult for us. In the Quran, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has told us, "Ashamsu wal kamaru bi husban." that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established meticulous orbit for the sun as well as for the moon and they follow those calculations meticulously we are also told now this is this verse of surah ar-rahman ash-shamsu wal kamaru bi husban is number five when we go to surah yunus the ayah number five in surah yunus is also of the same subject هُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ الشَّمْسَ دِيَاءً وَالْقَمَرَ نُورًا وَقَدَّرَهُ مَنَازِلْ لِتَعْلَمُوا عَدَدَ السِّنِينَ وَالْحِسَابِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has established the sun as a radiance هُوَ الَّذِي جَعَلَ الشَّمْسَ دِيَاءً وَالْقَمَرَ نُورًا and he made the moon as a light moon does not have its own light it's a reflection of the sun's rays or radiance so wal kamara nura wa qaddarahu manazil and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala established the phases the manazil uh, the course for the moon lita'lamu adad as-sinin wal hisab so that you can know the counting of the years and calculation of time and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he did not create this one in vain but bil haqq with the proper truth and this is the reality and this is their sign for those people who really think know and reflect so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has established the moon with specialized phases so that we can know the precise timings as well as the calculations so if sun's calculations are so precise that we can use them in our five times daily prayers in our imsak and iftar timings then the moon calculations are as precise and we definitely can use them for moon sighting as well as for the end of the month of Ramadan. The birth of the moon is a universal phenomenon. The birth takes place everywhere in the world at the same time. We can exactly know when the sun is coming out of conjunction, when the birth takes place, and we can precisely know where is it in the horizon. Nowadays, the scientists, they can pinpoint a needle which is thrown in the space and we are just wondering and fighting about the exact place of the moon and that's what makes some of the non-muslims wonder about us and somehow about our Islamic religion they are unable to understand that for the last 14 centuries this issue has been debated among the Muslims and they have not come to some conclusions they say we can figure out when the Sun is coming out of conjunction and where exactly it is in its orbit and you are unable to even determine where is the moon and start your new month so therefore the FICA council has agreed to adopt the calculation even to affirm the beginning of the month of Ramadan or to affirm Eid al-Fitr 